When it comes to getting in shape, there is no shortcut. Even if this path may take a long time, you may be making blunders that will prevent you from achieving your goals. Here are some of the most frequent errors people make when they are attempting to lose weight and how to solve them in today's video. People often make common mistakes when trying to get healthy. One mistake is thinking that they can change their habits overnight. Another mistake is focusing on the scale rather than how they feel. Healthy eating and exercise should make you feel good, not punish you. People also tend to give up too easily. It's important to be patient and stick with your goals even if you don't see your results right away. Many people try to do too much at once. After all, just like anything else in life, it takes time to change your habits. Diet Eating too little or too much, not enough variety, can all lead to malnutrition. Malnutrition is a condition that results from eating a poor diet, and it can lead to a wide range of health problems. Symptoms of malnutrition include fatigue, weight loss, hair loss, and anemia. If you are experiencing any of these symptoms, you may be suffering from malnutrition and should see a doctor. Over the course of a lifetime, malnutrition can cause serious health problems. Malnutrition can lead to a wide range of diseases including heart disease, diabetes, and cancer. It is important that you make sure that you are eating enough foods. You should make sure that you are having a variety of foods at each meal and that you are eating enough food overall. It is important to eat foods with a lot of protein, as well as lots of vitamins and minerals. Without these nutrients, your body will not be able to function properly. You should not skip meals. Skipping meals is a common mistake that many people make. When you skip meals, your body will not get the nutrients that it needs to function properly. It is important that you eat at least three times a day. When you eat three times a day, your body will not have a chance to go into starvation mode. When people go too long without eating, they often feel tired and weak. And you may also find that your thoughts will begin to wander while you are not getting sufficient nutrition. Your body needs to eat at least three times a day in order to stay healthy. Exercise. Doing too much, not enough variety, not enough rest. In today's society, it seems like people are always on the go. They are doing too much, not enough variety, and not getting enough rest. This can lead to health problems, both physically and mentally. Are you one of those people who feel like you have to be constantly active? Do you feel guilty if you're not working out or moving your body every day? If so, you're not alone. Exercise has become a bit of a national obsession in the United States. We're always trying to find new and innovative ways to work out and stay in shape. While there's nothing wrong with being active, too much exercise can actually be harmful to your health. Exercise is important for maintaining a healthy weight and preventing chronic diseases such as heart disease and cancer. But it's also important to remember that rest is just as important as exercise. When you exercise too much or don't vary your routine enough, you can actually do more harm than good. You might experience fatigue, joint pain, or even injuries. When it comes to exercise, more is often thought to be better. However, research suggests that too much exercise can have negative effects on both the body and mind. Too much exercise can lead to overtraining syndrome, which is marked by symptoms such as fatigue, irritability, insomnia, and a decreased desire to socialize. Additionally, overtraining can cause physical problems such as dehydration, electrolyte imbalance, and an increased risk of injury. To avoid overtraining, make sure to listen to your body. If you are feeling tired or drained, take a break and do some light exercise such as walking around the block. This will keep you from overtraining and ensure that you get the most out of every workout. Hydration Drinking too little water, drinking calorie-containing beverages instead. It's no secret that Americans love their calorie-containing beverages. Soft drinks, juice, sports drinks, 
and even tea and coffee can contain a lot of calories. And while many people are aware of the dangers of drinking too many calories, few know that drinking too little water can be just as harmful. Dehydration can lead to a wide range of health problems, including fatigue, muscle cramps, and even heat stroke. It can also make you more likely to get sick, since dehydration impairs your immune system. So how much water should you drink each day? The Institute of Medicine recommends 8 cups for women and 10 cups for men. Your body needs water to function properly, but not all drinks are created equal. You'll get more energy from a sports drink or energy drink than you will from sugary soda pop. And it's important to remember that water can also help you lose weight. Studies show that women who drink more than five cups of water a day have a low risk of obesity, compared with those who drink less than two cups a day. If you've been drinking too much soda, you may want to try switching to water. Sleep. Not getting enough sleep. Sleeping at the wrong time. Most people know that getting a good night's sleep is important, but many people don't realize the full extent of the dangers of not getting enough sleep. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, lack of sleep is a public health epidemic. People who don't get enough sleep are at risk for chronic diseases, such as obesity and heart disease. Not getting enough sleep also has been linked to mental health conditions, such as depression and anxiety. Not getting enough sleep can have devastating consequences, and a few simple lifestyle changes could help you improve your health. If you are not sleeping well, it is important to find out what the problem is. The National Sleep Foundation recommends that adults get seven to nine hours of sleep each night. To get enough sleep, it's important to go to bed at a reasonable time and wake up at the same time each day. When you're getting enough sleep, it can also help to exercise regularly, eat a healthy diet, avoid caffeine and nicotine late in the day, limit or skip alcohol and other stimulants before bed. Sleep quality is affected by many factors, including your activity level and health. Sleep problems can include difficulty falling or staying asleep, waking up too early, feeling tired and having trouble concentrating. Sleep problems can cause fatigue, irritability, mood swings, and memory loss. If you have a sleep problem, your doctor may recommend changes to your lifestyle or medications to help you fall asleep and stay asleep at night. Stress. Taking on too much stress not managing stress well. In our fast-paced society, it's easy to feel overwhelmed and stressed. For some people, stress is just a part of life. But for others, stress can become excessive and lead to health problems if it's not managed well. If you're feeling overwhelmed and stressed out, here are a few tips to help you take on less stress and manage it better. Relax. Take time for yourself whether that's a long bubble bath or a walk in the park. Exercising is also a stress reliever. It releases endorphins, feel good chemicals that can help you feel less stressed and more relaxed. Change your environment, make your home and social life more welcoming so you can achieve a relaxed, stress-free state of mind. Treat yourself to those things that make you feel good. Take time for the things that make you happy and relax. Practice mindfulness. Mindfulness can help you learn to be more accepting of the things that happen in your life and how you feel about them. Mindfulness also helps you become more aware of your emotions and how they affect your body. Staying mindful can make a big difference in reducing stress and anxiety. You can also take part in mindful exercises such as yoga, tai chi, and qigong. If you are having trouble learning how to meditate, try taking a course. Gentler ways of dealing with stress include taking up yoga. Yoga can help reduce stress and anxiety by helping you to focus on your breathing and body. Tai Chi can help people to feel calmer and to be more aware of their breathing. It can also help people to cope better with stressful situations. Qigong is a kind of energy exercise that has been used for thousands of years in China. Unrealistic goals. When it comes to our health, most of us have high aspirations. We want to be fit, eat well, and live a long, healthy life. 
However, sometimes our goals are a little too unrealistic. We may set our sights on becoming the next fitness model or marathon runner when we realistically have no chance of achieving those goals. This can lead to disappointment and frustration, especially if we're not able to stick to our unrealistic plan. A better approach is to set more realistic health goals for ourselves. This may mean starting with smaller goals that we know we can achieve, such as going for a walk every day or eating one piece of fruit a day. Once we've accomplished these goals, we can gradually work our way up to bigger ones. By setting realistic health goals, we're more likely to stick with them and see real results. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. Any questions feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.